Coming to you from downtown Salt Lake City in the gateway, this is Devotion Championship Wrestling. Hello folks, Warren Gardner here, the Cecil Roney, calling the action on today's episode. This is our sixth episode in season three, and season three has been a season moving at a breakneck speed. And so much has happened thus far. Just a few weeks ago, an emotional William Cutting told the devoted faithful that he had to vacate his championship due to injury. A heartbreaking moment in DCW history, leaving the DCW title ready for grabs in a battle royal with the last person in the ring winning the championship. Reka Tehaka holding now the LPWG Women's Championship and the DCW TV title. And just last week, we saw Brother Chowin upset the incumbent champion, Brett Buffshay, and his challenger, Andrew Sowell, in a triple threat match. We now enter the reign of Chatwin. So much happening, you can't miss a week. Right now, we do actually have William Cutting here with a statement to be made to the devoted faithful. The last we saw William Cutting a few weeks ago, it truly was a heartbreaking moment. Obvious to see now that Cutting in much different spirits than when last we saw him. I'm being told we're having some troubles with the connection between the microphone and the broadcast. So folks, if you will bear with us, we will try to get that fixed as quickly as possible. We will rely on our camera mics for the time being. Yeah, there's the, the technical difficulty. Sorry about that, folks. My deepest apologies. At the pre anniversary, I told you all that I would come back into this ring to entertain each and every one of you at any cost. And, as of last night, I paid a pretty penny to make sure that I was still involved with this company. So I sat down with Commissioner Big Papa Rob, and we struck a deal. So I am now co-owner of Devotion Championship Wrestling. Lemons in the lemonade. I have no doubt this man has an eye for entertainment. And because of you, each and every one of you, that's why I'm here. That's why I came back. That's why I came so much for the motion. What? I sound bad for this. Okay with that. I've done everything I could to make sure we have the best talent that the Indies could have to offer. And I hope you guys enjoy. There's no doubt that we will. I am in the Wait a second. The sound of the snapping can only mean one thing. The angry, bald-headed, Super heavyweight has got something to say. Andrew Sowell coming out to the ring. Yes, when last we saw Sowell last week, he's in a triple threat match for the DCW title. I'm sure, he's upset about, well, a lot of things. Let's see what pee has got with Cuddy. You know, congratulations. Congratulations on a morning like you can step up and do something awesome. Well, that's, that's your co-boss now. Easy. You know what? I got a lot of fun to pick with you because I was uh, rummaging through the uh, merch stand over there. Is this your doing? Is this your idea of a job? Sucks so well, folks. Sucks so well. Yes, and they are available here each and every show, along with many other pieces of merchandise of our talent. I'm uh, not sure who put that one on the on the uh, merch table, but uh, 
Well played. I want to fight you for control of this company. Can can he do that? Is that a thing? Cutting asking the devoted faithful if, if that's something that should be accommodated. I'm gonna put Irish Extreme in my stead to beat you up. It's gonna be easy for you. Standing in the rather large shadow, yes. You know, I'm a little old yes, yes, The yes, Irish Extreme here with Doesn't Andrew so well. Right, so well. Why don't we make this a little bit more interesting? Because he is the Irish Extreme. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, you're fighting so well. Okay, good. You're gonna fight him, beat him up. Let's right? shake on him. We'll shake on him, that's right. You're gonna get beat up. Let's shake on him. 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 let us shake on him let us shake on in an Irish Extreme Rules match. It's you. Versus you. the Ice Cream Man. Mmm, oh. yummy. The screams of the devoted faithful letting us know, folks, it's the, the Pineapple Clad. Tom Chad, folks, it has literally been months since we have seen Tom Chad here in the ring at DCW. He's here and he is putting the beat down right off the bat to the Irish Extreme. This man is pure party, pure fun, pure 100% homogenated milk. And he <laughs> has got no shame. Now, I, I, I don't think this match is intended to start right now, but Top Chat is getting an early start. Kicking out the bottom from beneath the Irish Extreme. Oh, no. What if... Oh, jeez. No, 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 don't, don't. Oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a stink face if I've ever seen one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are, as I said, just getting started. and getting the nod here from the producers. This will be our main event. Hopefully we can catch William Cutting's ear right after this. We'll be right back. Devoted faithful, I am coming to you from our new headquarters. And see this, all of this, was just the first step. I want to prove that DCW can run with the big boys. I plan to get us new venues, to bring in superstars, to bring in legends from this industry to your doorstep. I have worked too hard to get here. It cost me my in-ring career probably forever, but this is my gift to you. And on my first night in power, before I can even get these things rolling, Andrew Sowell's got to stick his neck in my business. See, that's a man who always seems to take the easy road. And for some reason, he thought the easy road went through me, but it doesn't. See, he's a former heavyweight champion, yes, but so am I. I've won every title that DCW has, while Sowell had to make up his own 
just to feel relevant. And it's a shame because Sowell is one of the most violent and aggressive people we have on the roster. But he chooses the coward's way. Even tonight, getting Irish extreme to fight in his stead when he's fully capable of going in there by himself. Unlike myself, I had to bring somebody in. I brought in Tom Chad because I knew it would mess with so well. And I know deep down inside, Tom Chad is going to do what's right for not only me and devotion, but for you, devoted faithful. Whether so well gets involved or not, which let's face it, he will. Tom Chad is going to come out with that one, two, three. And even though tonight's match is a no disqualification match, I want you to know, Andrew, so well that I will be watching and I will do everything in my power. I will risk everything to make sure that this company stays with me. Capiche? Strong words coming from our new co-owner. Coming up next, the Irish Extreme Hardcore Rules match as Andrew Sowell bet on the wrong horse with his proxy, the Irish Extreme. We'll find out after this. ready for our main event and don't forget to message DCW on social media to get those will call tickets for the upcoming payment due. With the crowd ready to go, looks like the production is ready to go, let's throw to King Goots, our ring announcer. This is a Irish Extreme Hardcore match. No rules, no regulations, scheduled for one fall. Representing the job squad from Los Animas, Colorado. Weighing in at an extreme 190 pounds, Irish Extreme and Andrew Sowell. Now, this is not the first time we've seen the Irish Extreme here on DCW television. If memory serves me correct, we saw him teamed up with another I don't know what you'd call them. Um, already in the ring guy, going up against the violence of action. Right there with the tail of the tape coming out of Colorado. An extreme 5'9", an extreme 190 pounds, an extreme age of 40. This brawler, known for his clover cutter finisher. Let's see if any sort of finisher will work in an extreme rules hardcore match. Andrew Sowell still upset about the t-shirt so much that he's carrying it around, letting people know not to buy it. Um, I, on the other hand, would say, please buy it, because, well, it's hilarious. And making his way straight from the back of the ice cream truck, serving up five scoop matches, he is the ice cream man, Tom Chad. Mmm, yummy. Yummy indeed. It's the ice cream man, the pineapple clad, Tom Chad. As I said earlier, it's been quite a few months since we've seen Tom Chad in the ring. Such a great surprise to have him here back at DCW. And I'm sure he wants nothing more than to come back with a big, Five scoop lead drop across the competition's face. Let's see if he can pull that off tonight. Here in this hardcore rules match. Oh, excuse me. Irish Extreme Hardcore Rules match. It's the ice cream man, Tom Chad. 
The devoted faithful love this man, and there is a lot to love with this super heavyweight who is not afraid to fly from the top rope. We're gonna see some major action coming in. Oh! Looks like the, the boys are jumping the gun, wanting to use their advantage. Well, I say there, but you know, that's kind of the genius of Andrew Sowell. I mean, inadvertently in, in accepting an Irish Extreme Rules match, it's no disqualification. Essentially, Andrew Sowell can do as much or as little as he wants, as long as it's the Irish Extreme that makes the pinfall. Referee for this bout, Zan Ashby. Zan doing her best to try and get Andrew Sowell to make this a somewhat fair fight. We'll see if that comes through or not. You don't get tables. But with the, there's the bell. The, the match has officially started with the, the uh, team of the Irish Extreme trying to get the drop on Tom Chad, but it's Tom Chad who comes in, rebuts with an atomic drop of his own, throws the Irish Extreme into the turnbuckle right onto his head. Now targeting that forehead again. Tom Chad looks to whip the Irish Extreme, goes in, a big back body drop. The Irish Extreme looking a bit unawares, coming down hard on his head, a scoop and a slam. That's even an ice cream scoop for you folks. The Irish Extreme realizing he needs to uh, take a breather here, rolls out of the ring, the ice cream man follows not letting the Irish Extreme take any extreme breaks. Tom Chad still targeting the head of the Irish Extreme, a not always the smartest place to target and not the smartest place to be stuck here in the DCW arena. Andrew Sowell now able to take his pickings on Tom Chad. A waterboard sands water as the two, oh, look at that. Tom Chad hits Andrew so well. Outside of the gerrymandered district. Now pressing a boot in, but thrown off by Tom Chad. Tom Chad finally able to free himself from that wedged in predicament. Irish Extreme delivers his own rebuttal to his targeted head by driving Tom Chad's forehead into the apron, the second hardest part of the ring, followed up by a boot to the head. Pulling his challenger, excuse me, his opponent, and throws his head into that solid concrete reinforced pillar. The Irish Extreme, through the help of Andrew Sowell, has been able to help that pendulum swing, but it looks like Tom Chad is looking to change the momentum and swing it back around. The two now, both seemingly dealing with a bell rung. Tom Chad grabs, oh, Tom Chad grabs a chair from underneath the ring. Again, folks, remember this is a extreme rules hardcore match, so anything goes. Throwing and now spanking, giving the Irish extreme a little corporal punishment. Oh, you can see he's already bent the chair back in on itself. Andrew Sowell getting out of the way quickly as Tom Chad takes a swing and a miss at the former champ. Delivers a shot right to the guts. Folks, yes, always remember coming in, we have the bar fights available on fight, a TVMA pay-per-view featuring Sex Ferguson. Tom Chad delivers his own bit of corporal punishment. And this allows the Irish Extreme to drag. No, he doesn't drag, he's shed off with a BJJ defensive heel strike from Tom Chad, but oh no, no, oh, no. Tom Chad able to catch it, oh! And delivers a shot to right back into, oh my good God! Tom Chad has got to be out. That was a hellacious 
kick to the chair, which ended right in Tom Chad's forehead. And the Irish Extreme is not done yet now, using the chair right across the throat of Tom Chad. Zan Ashby gets out of the ring to check in. Oh, oh, goodness. A referee checking to make sure Tom Chad can continue. Oh, a second shot right to the forehead. Not finished yet. Oh, a third. Good God. Goes for the cover. No, just a one count. Tom Chad. Oh, come, that, come on, Andrew Sowo. That was not. The Irish Extreme, not finished yet, comes in. No, does not. He is hit below the Extreme waistline. Tom Chad now using the flimsy cutout of his mentor. Tom Chad taunts Andrew Sowa, who retreats into the darkness and continues those vicious strikes to the head of the Irish Extreme. Tom Chad now looking for more goodies underneath the ring. What does he come out with? It's a staple gun! For those of you who have watched or attended bar fights, you know that this is something he has done before. Tom Chad giving out some of the limited edition DCW trading cards, and now, oh my goodness! Stapling the trading cards, oh God! Right to the temple, it's stuck! It's stuck clearly into the side of, oh, and now one to the buttocks! Still stuck into the head of the Irish Extreme, now bouncing that soft spot off of the apron. Good Lord. Tom Chad looking to continue this onslaught as the Irish Extreme enters back into the ring looking to take advantage of his early position in the ring. Is it enough? Oh! He hits the wrist of the Irish Extreme with a flying chair. What else has he got underneath there? He looks for a cowboy boot. Shades of a Texas Stampede a la Dusty Rhodes. What's he got playing? Oh, goodness, look at that. Brings down the Irish Extreme with a boot, albeit not on his feet. Takes him down. Uh, folks, the Irish Extreme does not look like he is in good shape. I fear that referee Zan Ashby may have to stop it, but no, the Irish Extreme with a determined look upon that di discombobulated face now brings a chair across the lower lone bar of Tom Chad. Oh, goodness! And a shot across the face. The Irish Extreme, oh! With a kickstart, with a chair right into the Gosh, Tom Chad might have a broken nose. He's rolled out of the ring. The Irish Extreme adding more chairs into the fray. How many more do we need? Good night. Finally ripping off that trading card that had been stapled to his head. Andrew Sowell not happy, not impressed with the gift given to the devoted faithful. Those limited edition trading cards, just one of the great pieces of merchandise you can purchase here at a... DCW event, but a big plank, perhaps a solid wood board, it looks like. Maybe a, a door even. Oh my good night, Irene. A shot directly to the head. Andrew Sowell doing his best to bring his proxy, his choice to act in his stead. Back to his wits, but I don't know if it'll be enough. We'll go back. I don't know if we want to break away from the action, but that shot clearly, clearly hit the already very tender temple of the Irish Extreme, and no doubt he is he's struggling. Just if if that ring was not there, if he did not have that rope to pull on, I think the Irish Extreme would not be getting back in nor to his feet, but the pineapple-clad Tom Chad, the ice cream man, has created an impromptu table here. He set it up, and the Irish Extreme crawls back into the ring only 
to be met with more offense. Oh gosh, right down on that already bloody side of the head. Irish Extreme being put into position by Tom Chad. He has got something planned for him. No doubt it's, oh, for, for those longtime viewers of DCW, of course you remember the Christmas fight between Andrew Sowell and Tom Chad in which crutches were employed. Go back and check it out in the DCW archives, both on fight and on YouTube. Tom Chad using that crutch now as earlier the Irish Extreme used the chair across his throat. Oh, and a shot right to the kidney. Tom Chad steps out of the ring. And we've seen this before from the super heavyweight folks, something that, oh, but wait, looking to interrupt the five scoop leg drop. Andrew Sowell comes in, but no! Oh, the co-owner comes in and says, get him, rebutting, acting as a buffer to keep Tom Chad safe saying good night and down he goes this leaving Tom Chad set for a five scoop leg drop no too far out he comes in with a big splash instead goes for the cover and that's it folks his first official match made tonight. Our new co-owner bet on the right horse, and we couldn't be happier to have this horse back in the race with the pineapple clad Tom Chad, the Irish Extreme. Someone might want to check on him. He uh, definitely got his bell rung. Folks, I'm Lauren Gardner the Ciceroni. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking the time to invite us into your homes. We know your time is precious and we appreciate you spending it with us. As always, folks, thank you again. And until next time, stay devoted. Now I will kill you.